showing off their strategic skills. Dozens of gamers made their way to the City Library for International Tabletop Day, which is all about celebrating games played on tables. This is the fourth time an event's been held locally to mark the occasion, and organisers say there's always plenty on offer. We've got some role-playing with Pathfinder, we've got some small skirmishing games with Imperial Assault, and some miniature games with X-Wing, which is one of the most popular games around the planet. A range of different skill levels were on display during the event, which Cook says is hugely beneficial. It allows beginners to learn from more expert players and potentially be inspired to carry on with the hobby. One of the great things about the hobby is learning the skills. As people get more and more into it, some people, uh, some games involve miniatures that people can paint, and there's a whole process about learning to paint, just getting in there and finding other people that are good at painting and learning off them. He says the ability to look up gaming tutorials online is also helpful in allowing people to grow their skill set. But while plenty of gamers play to win, it's about more than just competition. The social aspect is people just having a pure escapist fun, forgetting what's going on in their lives, just sitting down with a set of rules, rolling some dice, having some crazy stuff happen and having a laugh and having some fun. Cook says there are plenty of opportunities for similar meetups with several gaming groups in existence around the city. He says it's just about bringing people together and indulging their love of gaming. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.